Almost every aspect of our lives is quantified and digitized. And the global pandemic has brought into sharp focus the power of population healthcare data to shape policy and best practices. But this power is not without its pitfalls. People are very protective of their health data in the way that they're protective of almost nothing else. Most people would prefer their bank information gets leaked over their health information. That's Dr. Samuel Stewart with Health Data Nova Scotia at Dalhousie University. So within Dalhousie, Health Data Nova Scotia is a research unit that provides access to de-identified health administrative data for the purposes of research. The HDNS team has found a unique solution to address the conflicting interests between privacy and the public good. Health Data Nova Scotia's primary focus is on delivering high quality data analysis for both internal and external analysts. Everything from hospital discharges to ambulatory care to a visit to your family doctor. It's all sitting in Health Data Nova Scotia's holdings uh, waiting to be tapped into for research. And that's where Cloudera comes in. Before adopting a cloud solution, access to the anonymized healthcare data of the roughly 1 million Nova Scotians through HDNS was somewhat cumbersome. Everything at HDNS before Cloud Era was offline. We had a physical space with uh, one server stack and physical wires from that stack to computers in the offices that you used. You could only access from that one room. If you had too many analysts running large queries, the whole thing would just chug. In the past, we could tell the researchers, please, can you do this in the evening uh, when there's a little bit of a downtime or we don't have uh, other analysts trying to walk. The HDNS team had particular goals when searching for the ideal cloud solution. We wanted a modern system that could handle many users running many different types of analysis. Uh, redundancy for the data, we wanted as much backup as possible within the cluster uh, so we didn't have to rely on backing up health data to external sources. And it needed to be able to connect to many different types of uh, analytical tools, right? We have many licenses for different platforms and they all need to be able to connect to the cluster and, uh, you know, just run whatever the analyst wants to run. By adopting a Cloudera private cloud deployment, HDNS could grant access to researchers and data analysts remotely and at a much larger scale, while still maintaining complete control over their data. So one of the nice things for us was that this complete separation of kind of data storage and data use meant that we could keep the data really, really secure. Uh, right now we have a lot of data nodes that are helping us process data concurrently, which has actually significantly improved the speed. HDNS users didn't even notice a difference, which is actually a good thing. Since they connect to the external servers, uh, they weren't even able to tell the difference in the end, um, besides the you know, speed and reliability of the system. I mean, we have some analysis that used to take days, and now it's a matter of hours. HDNS has been able to facilitate more research analysis, from topics such as opioid and antibiotic prescription rate variancies, to long-term organ transplant health outcomes, Using Cloudera to grant expanded access to anonymized healthcare records is one way data keeps HDNS moving forward.